hello and welcome back to another video on ethical hacking in this video we'll look at anonserve so what really is anonserve anonserve is a free tool available on github that is used for the purpose of anonymity it's basically a completely similar tool uh, to proxy chains which we have have uh, thoroughly discussed and used in our previous two videos I will link them in, down in the description if you are willing to use proxy chains you can the link to the tutorial is in the description but if for some reason you are not willing to use proxy chains or if you are facing some errors or some problems with the proxy chains so you can use anonser for the purpose of anonymity and it, it works completely the same as as the proxy chain works it indeed uses the tor proxies uh, for accessing the web uh, you can check out its complete descriptions and everything right over here on the github it's available freely on github so in order to clone the anon serve you can just copy this link and come over to come over to terminal and write git clone and then paste the link that we have just copied so now it will clone the this rep repository now that the repository has been cloned i will cd into kali dash and on surf once I do that, I'll list all of the files or and folders inside this uh, Kali and on surf. Once I do that, I will just run the installer.sh file. Installer.sh, I'll write dot slash installer.sh. And it will take a few moments to install the Anon surf on my PC. okay so the anon surf is installed if for some reason if you are facing some problem with installing the anon surf or if this is your first time cloning a repository from github just leave a comment down below and i will try to help you out in any way possible uh, to make to break it down for you and to make it easy for you but if you have already cloned and installed the anon surf uh, I will clear the screen and then write anon surf minus minus help to find out all of the available commands in the anon surf. So here we are, we can use the start with the anon surf, stop, restart, change, and status. So if I'm willing to start the anon surf, I'll write anon surf start sorry it's an on surf not an on surf okay so the an on surf is running let's check out for dns leaks and here here i am so for the last time when we checked with the proxy chains, I was in Germany and now I'm in Austria. So let's also check for the DNS, le the DNS leaks uh, by starting a standard test. And here we are, we are in Netherlands with the DNS. So it's like the speed of the internet, uh, the, the 
loading time of this website and the DNS leaks test completely depends on your internet speed. It might be slow if your internet is slow because it's using different proxy chains and then giving you the results. So right now I'm in Austria, but if I go to the terminal again and write anon surf restart and then reload this page again you can see that I'm in in another country I don't know what the name is but my IP is changed and again if I look for standard test my DNS would be somewhere else it's in Austria so that is pretty much it for the Anon Surf uh, once more the Anon Surf is a tool that can be used for the purpose of anonymity or for changing the uh, for changing your IP address of your system and what basically AnonSurf is, AnonSurf is a tool uh, that's freely available on GitHub. Uh, you can just clone it and then use it. In order to find out about all of its command, you can just write AnonSurf minus minus help and uh, it will give you all of the commands. Uh, anyway, if you don't know what this minus minus help or dash dash help is, uh, if you are willing to find out about any command, suppose if you are new to Kali, you might not know, but if you are using Kali, you would know that if you need help about any command, you can just write, suppose ls is used for listing all of the directories and the files and uh, all of the files and directories in a, in a folder or in the current directory you are in. So you can just write minus minus help in front of the ls and it will provide you all of the details about ls, how you can use it, what kind of, what kind of flags you can provide and what kind of options you can give it. Coming back to AnonSurf, in AnonSurf we can provide either start, stop, restart, change and stat status. And here its explanation is written that if you are willing to start the Anon surf, we just provide the start. If we are willing to stop it, we just write stop. If we are willing to restart, so the restart would first stop it and then start it again. And the change would uh, change the Tor identity. Like if you are using one IP, it will change it to another. Or it, if you are willing, if we are using one proxy chain, it will switch it over to another and the status would give us the our status and the IP the my IP command would give us our current IP so if I write anon serve my IP it will provide me the IP that I'm currently using so here we are 178.17.174.229 so that is pretty much it for this video for the Anon Surf. The Anon Surf was pretty easy. You can just clone it with this link and then you can install it by going to the directory by CD. And here it's all of explanation is written. Also the command you can use with Anon Surf and stuff like that. So this is pretty much it for this video. Uh, right now if you look at here I'm completely anonymous and I can browse the website. Nobody would know that I'm using it uh, until and unless, uh, as, I ho as I already said, that until and unless the proxy provide my information to the website or something like that. So have a pleasant day. Bye for now. Peace. Up till next. So this is pretty much it for this video. I will see you next time. Until